today i'll be showing you how to make yogurt what you actually need for your yogurt is milk and something to culture it with so i'll be using whole milk but because i want it to be a little thicker i'm going to add a little um about a cup of non-fat milk so what i do is i bring my milk to the very last drop 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 okay so i bring it to a boil so when you boil your milk you have to stay around you don't leave it because this milk when it boils it can boil over there are three important things to yogurt making the temperature of the milk your yogurt culture and your incubator that means what you're going to use where you're going to culture your milk of turning your yogurt from milk to yogurt those are very important you just need milk of 110 to 115 degrees but why we bring it to a boil is this everything you need for your yogurt making has to be sterilized as long as the milk comes in contact with something that is not sterilized it has to reach boiling point for it to kill any bacteria that it contains if you want to get yogurt to culture your your milk you need plain yogurt you need plain yogurt that has nothing inside except milk and live cultures and then it has five different life cultures that you have to make sure they have if not your yogurt might not turn out good so I, what i use is the store brand and it's just like 89 cents so and um for my yogurt a gallon of milk i don't need more than one teaspoon i don't need more than one teaspoon for this much milk a gallon of milk so it's cost effective and once you have made your first batch of yogurt you can then start culturing subsequent yogurts from your own yogurt that you have made but if you are not sure of the yogurt you made the best i will advise you to do is always to get um you got from the store for each batch you want to make but if you are sure you did it right and your yogurt turned out right you can always take out a bit keep it aside without adding anything no sweetener anything to it for your next batch of yogurt and just store it in the fridge when you're ready to use it it has to be at room temperature you bring it out from the fridge and then you just put it at room temperature before you use it later i use um I use uh, shopping bags, yep, shopping bags, as many shopping bags as you can put in here, but I have about um, six, six of them here, a towel, a towel and a cooler, an ice box. When it starts bringing out bubbles, the milk is ready, you can see the bubbles. The next step is to turn it into the container you're going to use. I don't allow it to cool in the pots because there's a chance that there's burn under. The milk burns a bit in the pot. And why I turn a hot milk into the container I'm going to use. You might use a plastic, glass, whatever, your choice. But this is what I use for my yogurt. It's what fits perfectly into my fridge. So... You pour your milk into the container you're going to use. Why I do this is it sterilizes this container for me at the same time. I stir in my non-fat milk
after stirring in your milk you continue stirring occasionally until the milk cools down this is how i taste the temperature to make sure it has cooled down enough yep it has to be warm on your on your hand I put it there to be warm it has cooled down enough or you dip a clean finger in if it's warm to the touch like water you can use to bat a baby then it is okay so I take one teaspoon Bring your bag. Because I didn't have time to finish this yogurt last night, I put it in the fridge, but I let it sit in the incubator for 8 hours. When you bring out your yogurt from the incubator, the first thing you're going to notice is this. There will be water on top. That is not actually the way. It's the steam from the, the cover, the heat that comes from it. And uh, this yogurt, when I brought it out of the incubator, it was still slightly warm when I brought it out. So let's see how it is. A yogurt that cultures very well holds its shape. Oh, look at how beautiful that is.